uh, we're really excited. You know, we're really excited to get going. Um, you always feel a great level of enthusiasm, and it's important that we keep this enthusiasm throughout the year. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, opening uh, opening game for us is BU, UMass, Amherst. Uh, that's our first weekend. We dive right into it, and uh, really looking forward to it. Talk about the appeal of the job and, and, the, and the reasons you decided to, to accept the position as head coach at Providence. Well, the first and, and foremost were the, the two men in the leadership positions, Father Shanley, president of our school, and Bob Driscoll, our athletic director. They had a vision for what they wanted the men's ice hockey program to be. Um, the second part is the rich tradition of the program. The tradition of this program is outstanding. Five men uh, have had their, their name on the Stanley Cup from our program. Nearly 100 players drafted from our program. Uh, you know, we've won hockey's twice. So uh, we have a great tradition. And, you know, with, with the leadership in place and the tradition um, and also the, the rink renovation that's going to take place uh, next summer, I thought all the pieces were in place for us to get back among the elite teams in college hockey. One of the things for a new head coach is, is relying on your upperclassmen, so I'm assuming you're expecting some of those guys to really step into that leadership role. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, we, uh, we have uh, some, some great upperclassmen, uh, but, you know, the funny thing is is that we, we have 26 freshmen right now. You know, they're learning a new coach. They're learning a new system. Uh, they're learning kind of maybe some different standards of, of how we want to work, how we want to practice, and what we want to be. And um, so although we do have some upperclassmen, I think right now it's, it feels feels like we have 26 freshmen because they're all kind of going through the learning curve a little bit right now.